Did you know you can do this in FL Studio? Or how about this? What is a MIDI channel in FL Studio? Well, you already use them, even if you had no idea. There are 16 assignable MIDI channels available in every digital audio workstation, except Ableton, because apparently it sucks. This pattern is using MIDI channel 1. Clicking this panel reveals the other available MIDI channels. Let's trigger multiple instruments from one MIDI pattern. Go to this box called the Channel Rack. If you don't see it, click here or press F6. Click here and locate Patcher. Drag it in or add it like this. This is Patcher. It is a tool used to link multiple things together, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Open Plugin Picker and add a VFX Color Mapper. Double click on the VFX Color Mapper you just added. This is VFX Color Mapper, which we can use to send each MIDI channel to a different sound. Let's see how things were set up in the intro clip. Green lines are MIDI connections, and the other color is for sending sound. Each of the colors on screen trigger the instruments separately. Now, to quickly show how to have control over the MIDI channels. Right now we're only using MIDI channel 1, but if we click here, we can pick any of the other 16 channels. I'll pick channel 6. You can see immediately the color is new. If you want to change existing notes, try this. Pick the color you want here in the channel picker. Next, click the selector or press and keep pressing the control keyboard button. While in select mode, or while continuously pressing the control keyboard button, use left click on the mouse to highlight all the notes you want. Preceding this step, press the buttons Alt and C together, like this. Now that we have our MIDI channels mapped out, along with a VFX color mapper prepared, we can now select our desired sounds. Similarly to adding color mapper, open plugin picker and choose a plugin here. Choose a plugin and load or create a preset like you normally would. Even additional plugins you added yourself will be supported. All right, now just link these plugins to the four outputs. You can use the green lines, which are the MIDI connections. Just link the audio using the other colored line to FL Studio, like this. And you're done. To add more than four channels, try this. Get another VFX color mapper and link channels 5 through 8 to 1 through 4. By that I mean the MIDI channels 5 through 8 will trigger the outputs 1 through 4. Now this one works too. To choose between different samples, you need the Harmer plugin. Using the existing setup, open Harmer and load a sample. This is called resynthesis in Harmer. It'll play the sound and synthesize a copy of the sound live. This is great for doing vocal chops, like this. <laughs> And that is how you use MIDI channels in FL Studio. Hope you learned something new and hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.